today I'm gonna do a simple breakdown of color management in DaVinci Resolve. All right, so we're gonna go to the bottom right corner right here to project settings, click on that. Now generally, first you'll see your master settings here. Once you have all that set up, we're gonna go down here to color management. On the top of that tab, you'll see color space and transforms. I'm not gonna get too scientific in this video, but here under color science, you have several options. I recommend going to DaVinci YRGB. Underneath color science, we have timeline color space. I always use DaVinci wide gamut intermediate, WG for wide gamut. Next we have output color space. I personally use Rec. 709 Gamma 2.4. So now that we have that set up, I'm gonna go over a few basic settings and tips in the color page. Whatever camera, whatever log you're using, in the color page, what you have to do is create multiple nodes. The first node and the last node are the ones you're gonna need for your conversion from log to then eventually Rec. 709 for that final output. Nodes in between those are gonna be used for color grading. The beginning node and the ending node are gonna use CSTs, Color Space Transform. So let's go ahead and add them and then I'll break it down a little bit more. So on the first one, we're gonna to go to Effects. Go ahead and search for Color Space Transform. Go ahead and drop that into your first node, select your last node, and drop a CST on your last node. One thing to keep in mind is that you're gonna have an input color space, a working color space, and an output color space. Input is from your camera, then being converted to the working space, which again, we're working with the timeline color space, which is DaVinci Wide Gamut Intermediate, which is gonna give us a lot of playroom for our color grading, and then your output color space, which then we're gonna bring to Rec. 709 Gamma 2.4. So going back to the first node, color space transform. Your input color space is gonna be dependent on your camera, which log format you shot in. I shoot in S-Log3, S-Gamut3 Cine on the Sony cameras. So for me, input color space is gonna be Sony S Gamut 3 dot Cine. Then my input gamma is gonna be S Log 3. Then my output color space is gonna be DaVinci Wide Gamut. And the output gamma is gonna be DaVinci Intermediate. So again, even if you're not shooting with a Sony camera, whatever camera you're using, just look up what your camera's input color space and input gamma are when you're shooting in their respective format. Then the output color space is gonna be this, DaVinci Wide Gamut, and the output gamma, DaVinci Intermediate. That's on the first node for our input color space transform, CST. Now we're gonna go to the end where we already dropped a CST. From here, now we're converting this working color space and this working gamma into the output. So for input color space, we're going to DaVinci Wide Gamut and then input gamma to DaVinci Intermediate. So our output color space is gonna be Rec. 709 and then our output gamma is gonna be Gamma 2.4. So now that we have our input and our output set, you can see it already did the conversion. So if I bypass that, that's our log, and now this is scientifically corrected. And this is where we can use our nodes that are in the middle of the CSTs for our color grading. 